G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazine's down in Coffs Harbour with a new dealer we're testing, uh, Ben Thwaites from Thwaites Marine. And Ben, you've got a couple of really interesting boats for us this morning. You're a Stacer and Evinrude dealer. You've got the brand new Evinrude 115s on some Stacer Crossfires. You're a reasonably new Stacer Evinrude dealer. You must be in love with these packages because you've brought two of them this morning. Yeah, look, we really, they are a great package and I think for the price they're coming at, they, um, they really perform well. Um, great sea boat, um, a lot of torque with the 115 um, HO even route on the back and yeah we love them, they're great. This part of the world in Coffs Harbour you've got very easy access to the ocean so you're going to need a boat that's uh, maybe launchable from some sketchy ramps but also able to handle those ocean conditions. You were telling me you really love this hull, the shape of this hull for this part of the world. Yeah look it rides really well, it's got a flared sort of bow sheet and um, a good sort of moderate dead rise throughout yep. the hull. Yep. So the ride quality is really great and um, yeah, we can launch them from beaches, they're light enough to get on and up north of Coffs that really, really works well. Now the, uh, the Evinrude, it's a three cylinder, the new, uh, the new 115, typically the E-Tex, they're talky, they're good on juice and they're great on emissions, you must be in love with the brand. Yeah, we're really happy and there's, there's the auto trim function that these have and the, the power assisted steering, yep. the DPS, which is really nice, it's, um, it's great, you can really be getting around out there without really having to, if you've got a lot happening, to worry about, not having to worry about trim and um, having that, that ease of steering is just great. Um, and that's right, it's, a, uh, it's an easy to drive package but the whole package itself is very easy to own. The trailer and the boat and then the motors all fitted at the factory up at Tellwater in Queensland and as such you get rewarded with a great warranty on these rigs don't you? You do, yeah, we do five years warranty on the hull trailer and motor. Yep. And, um, and yeah, that's, that's great. It's really um, we have two of these boats here today. You can't see it in this shot, but in the cutaway now, you're gonna see a pair of boats. One of these is your staff boat that you might sneak off doing some sneaky fishing and diving. Right. But the other one is, is a customer's boat. And it just shows how different these 519 crossfires have been set up. One set up, uh, I suppose, more as a, as, a, as a sit down to drive boat. This is more of a stand up, get into it boat. Yep. Um, the hull is very versatile, isn't it? You can set it up in many different ways. It is, yeah. We have a lot of guys that have, um, you know, with, with the Crossfire hull, we'll be doing biscuiting and, and skiing and the estuaries, but then they'll also take them right out wide or up the creek, so they can do, you know, they can do a lot. Well, we're going to have a really good look at these boats today. We're going to put them on the water here at Coffs Harbour and get some performance statistics. But firstly, let's have a talk to Luke Strange, owner of this second Crossfire. So this is the second crossfire that we have today. It's uh, Luke Strangers and Luke, this is only a brand new boat to you mate, only had it on the water once so far. Yes it is. Uh, it's only a couple of month, like a couple of months old. Uh, it's been a great experience to have this so far. Uh, and I'm looking forward to enjoying more times out on the water. Yeah, well we look forward to maybe putting a few more hours on it for you today. But this, uh, the Stacer 519 Crossfire Hull, it's very versatile. You would have talked to the guys at Thwaites Marine and, uh, and sort of discussed your needs. Tell us how this hull ended up, why the configuration that you've got there? Look, well, I'd been, uh, what's the best way to say, um, deliberating over this, just, just chewing over it for at least probably three or four months. Yeah, I'd been in multiple times talking to Ben about it, uh, trying to work out what was the best way to go. And it's like, do I go for a tinny or do I go for the bigger boat? In the end, I decided obviously to go for the bigger boat. The reason why was the versatility. I've set it up so I can use it as an all-rounder, so I can do fishing. I can go you know, diving out of it, snorkeling. Uh, if I want to do water skiing, wakeboarding, or even tow someone behind it with a tube, that was my thoughts on it. And it allows me to do that by having the, such a versatile hull. So, Luke, this motor, the Evinrude, is distributed by Tellwater that make this boat and this trailer here. It must uh, make you feel good to use a product which is essentially built, constructed, put together in Australia. It is. Look, Having such a you know a great brand here in Australia that's all Australian built means that you've obviously got local support or for all the parts. You don't have to worry so much uh, about anything that's obviously coming from overseas and then having to wait for things so much. Um, you've got that factory backed warranty, especially being where we are here on the Coffs Coast, that Tellwater isn't that far away from us. Yep. So we, if need be, and the part support is so easy to go, it's only a few hours yep. drive up the road. Awesome. Um, and the, finally, you've got this uh, this Evinrude on the back. They have a, a long warranty as well, but that two-stroke technology, it's really punchy, isn't it? 
It is, yes. From the first trip out, uh, we were doing a lot of hole shots just to, you know, try it out. And I'm absolutely in love with the power, the torque that it produces, um, even the the fuel economy from it. I've had older two strokes in the past, uh, while great motors, thirsty. obviously very thirsty. Um, and obviously I have been in other four stroke boats in the past, great boats, great motors, but they just aren't the same as these new G2s. Yep. Well there you go, there's uh, straight from the horse's mouth what he likes about his Stacer package, but let's get these two packages on the water and come back to you with some performance statistics. Well, there you go. What a great morning at Coffs Harbour to get two of these crossfires out and on the water. And it's a really unique opportunity to see how two iterations of this hull work in this joggly water. And they're built for two separate purposes. And a big thanks for Luke for bringing his own personal crossfire down to, uh, to let us have a run in this morning. Uh, ben, of course, his shop boat, it's that centre console 519 with the three cylinder 115 HO Evinrude on the back. And let me say that thing is a rocket ship. He's got it set up so they can, uh, they can duck off before or after work in the morning or the afternoon, go for a dive, go for a fish, get out there and get back quick. And the first thing that you notice when you get into this boat, especially in some of the uh, oceanic stuff, is how softly they land. And I know a lot of boat manufacturers say that their hulls land soft. This thing really is a pleasure to drive through some of that nasty water. Um, they've put on an aftermarket T-top on this boat um, and that keeps you out of the shade, but it does actually affect the weight balance a little bit. Um, this is a narrowish hull, they're only a bit over two metres in beam, which gives it that great sea riding ability, but that, that, top, hot, that uh, top heaviness, you can feel it when you're out on the water. Um, that said, great seaworthy boat and a real battleship. Um, 
I think that uh, if I was setting up this boat, I'd set somewhere to actually have control of that digital throttle. Um, it's quite touchy, uh, and in the rough water, you could you could quite easily fall over and, and, and the boat could take off on you. Um, it's borderline overpowered, but that said, it's really, really fun to drive. And when you're crossing a bar in northern New South Wales or anywhere in Australia, that power is going to be really, really handy. Let's jump across to Luke's boat. and Luke's is set up for a whole different purpose. It's set up for some fun on the rivers. If the mackerel are running, let's get offshore and catch some of those or maybe some freshwater trips. So a lot more versatile boat and maybe sometimes, you know, towing a wakeboard, um, going for a trip with friends and family. Uh, really set up for comfort. You're driving it sitting down, you've got a console there uh, and you have the shade with the bimini top. Performance wise, both of these boats virtually identical. The, uh, the red one, the, uh, the side console, probably a little bit heavier in the build. Um, tiny bit slower out of the hole but not much. Having a look at the performance in particular, uh, 3300 revs is the most economical uh, uh, speed, 41 kilometres an hour and get this 3.4 kilometres per litre burn and that's for a 115 horsepower high output high performance motor. It's really really good economy. With a 77 litre fuel tank in this thing that gives you over 250 kilometres of theoretical range. Um, I suppose the red boat, the white boat, both of them ride really nicely, sitting down to, to ride in that joggly water, uh, just as smooth as standing up in the centre console. Um, Thwaites Marines seem to take a lot of care and a lot of pride in how they set these boats up, both their staff boats and their customer boats. Everything's in the right place, everything works and everything looks great and Ben himself seems a real perfectionist when it comes to getting that package exactly right. Uh, he's a proud Stacer and Evan Roo dealer. You can check out his website at www.thwaitesmarine.com.au. They're also very active on social media so on Facebook make sure you like Thwaites Marine and on Instagram follow Thwaites underscore Marine. If you thought Talking about package prices for these boats, as tested this morning, that centre console comes in at just under $50,000 with everything that's on it, whereas the uh, the side console just over $50,000 at $53,000. And after that, it's up to you what options you put on to make it your ideal Stacer and Evinrude package.